things first I appreciate your support so this is an LG direct drive eight stroke six eight wash six dry so uh, it's it's been leaking water from here the door seal is faulty I mean this has to be replaced if it's not a washer dryer what we do we switch the this side to face up but on this one it's a washer dryer so it has a duct somewhere here so there's no way you'll switch this and if you, you try repairing this doesn't last so we're going to replace this with a slightly used uh, rubber seal that is in good condition unfortunately this model is no longer in production so we could not get uh, a new one so join me in replacing Edward Basil on an LG washing machine, washer dryer combo. So this is the rubber seal. This is the duct. The duct is somewhere here. And then uh, we have a hose that comes through this two holes here. here. And then uh, this that drains water that stagnates here. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull it out because we need space. It's quite dirty, she just moved the houses. So we unplug from power and then uh, switch off the top, turn off the top, and then we unplug this. So we are going to do we uh, disconnect all the pipes and then uh, this is the discharge pipe the drain pipe we remove the soap dispenser then once that is done we're going to remove these two screws these and this one keep all the screws in one place because you'll need them you don't want to lose End of this, and then uh, we move the top panel. We remove the display board. There are two screws, long screws. Uh, here, we move this. We also remove this. We also have this. So you're going to disconnect these cables. Always take videos, uh, pictures. If you're not sure of why, which wire fits where, take pictures so that you don't have issues when plugging them back. This is the display board, so keep it safe. So this one, the main motherboard is underneath. So what you're going to do now is open the drain filter area. This, move this. And then there's a screw here that we need to remove. Said we put all these screws in one place. So once we remove that, there's also one more here. Then using our flat, we remove this.
This is plastic, so keep it away from your work area so that you don't break that. So once we remove that, now, before we remove these screws, these and this, we have one, one, two, four. We're going to locate the clipper that holds this rubber tight, so it's here. out pull this out and then you push it inside like that like that then close the door and then we will move these screws start with this one move these two out like that so you you can unplug the door switch keep the door away but because uh, I have enough space I'll just put it here and then uh, what you're going to do using a pliers I like this This will open this, 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 and this. But before that, we need to move this so that we can easily access the duct. This, 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 and this. Then this two, this, and this. going to pull this down so before that let's remove the concrete blocks
So we pull this down, like that. So what you're going to do, we take our flat screwdriver, we identify this spring, and then we pull this out, like that. Then down here, we have to remove this, like that. And then we pull this down. Because that is tight, we loosen this. We're going to loosen this so that we pull this up so that we can easily pull this out. So that to do is what you want this, let's pull this. Let's uh, pop like this, I mean. Yes. That's it. So we're going to remove this. This, we plug it on the other one. So what I always do first is this, eh? this one here, because if you don't plug this, you will forget. And then once you're done, the machine will start leaking water. Some machines motherboard is plugged here. That one, the motherboard is over there. So I always start with this. But because uh, I'll, I'll definitely remember because you need, I need to put the wire back. So I'll start with the duct. We are back on plugging this back. So here you have to fit it in there like that. So I don't show uh, a clear video on how to turn this because unfortunately one hand is recording, the other one is doing the job. Sorry for that, guys. Let me check this clipper. So 
So you need a flat and a star driver. Put it here, then we'll use this to plug it back like that, just force it back. Like that, like that. That we said before we forget, we plug this back. So once that is done, we plug back the concrete blocks. Once that is done, we plug this. This is for mixing water. We have the first pump is for draining water, that's the outlet. And then this one mixes water back to the drum. So we have to plug this. Before that, what we need to do is uh, ensure these are tight because I'd loosen this. There's a screw here, and the other one there, so we turn the now we turn the display board. This here, this goes here, this to here and there. So let's plug back the cables. Blue and blue, the broad one on this one. 